Basically, um, I was stating in my presentation um, today here in The Hague that the current constitutional um, setup you know, of the Dutch Kingdom, it's, an unlaw it's unlawful. Um, it's in contradiction to um, the Articles of Incorporation of the United Nations, which the Dutch signed to in um, the 1940s. Um, they indicated um, during that time to the international community that the Suriname at the time, the six islands of the Dutch Caribbean and Holland were in an independent federation. And so basically what we are saying that the statute, as we know it, it's illegal, it's unlawful. Of course, um, we accepted it over the years because we were not aware. But based on studies that was carried out um, in recent times, we recognize that that statute of 1954 um, was a statute that they concord together um, with Suriname and Curacao at the point in time with Holland. Um, Uruguay and India was very clear. There were some other countries as well, about 10 countries had their doubts, but I think that um, when it even came to the vote, um, India and Uruguay, you know, indicated very clearly that they would leave the door ajar, that if islands um, in question come years later, you know, that they would be able to have that right to self-determination. So what we are doing at this point in time, we are fooling ourselves in stating that we are lawfully, you know, under a system, you know, that, that is vetted and meet the requirements of the United Nations. As you know, on the 18th of um, um, February um, in 2018, my island was decapitated um, by the Dutch um, government um, after they received the approval of the parliament. Where the government was sent home, we was accused of corruption, um, violating laws, and actually, you know, intimidating and violating people's human rights, which when they themselves checked, it was not the case. All is what my government was doing is calling on the Dutch government to act in accordance with the law. Um, we were at a point in time where we were totally blocked, the finances were blocked, um, we were unable to pay our civil servants, we were not getting the necessary fundings to you know, finance development cooperation like the other islands. And we spoke out against it. And that is what has happened. Um, we know that there's a motion by Van Raak and Bosman and even the Graaf, you know, that um, call on the Dutch government to look at the, the statute as it is at this point in time. And so basically today in the presentation, I am saying that we should go in that direction. I am not saying that we should not cooperate with the Netherlands, but I believe it should be on a new form. And I look at um, the, the, the Commonwealth structure that we know that the United Kingdom have with a number of its foreign um, um, entities, you know, um, islands and, and, and countries today who are independent. They are a part of that Commonwealth, and I'm looking in that, in, in that direction. Um, as far as it pertains to um, the, the whole issue of the apology for slavery, I don't accept that. I don't believe that the Dutch is serious about that. The Prime Minister, Makarote, some years ago basically said he didn't believe in it. And all of a sudden, they have a change of mind. Um, if you are telling me that um, you want to genuinely apologize for your slavery past, then why to the station is still under the yoke of, of colonialism. We are chained down. Our people are not free. Our democracy had been unlawfully taken away, even though the people were given the right to go back to vote. You know, after a year, you know, um, we, we, the people voted very um, firmly for the same five elected representatives. And still today we have two Dutch appointed commissioners. Recently, we were able to appoint two commissioners, but limited power. Um, the, the, the budget right that is that of the island council, we does not have it. We are now here in the Netherlands and basically crawling on our bellies in order to convince the Dutch government. And so I'm saying that democracy is not conditioned. It's a fundamental right. It's a human right. And therefore, I believe that the structure of the Dutch kingdom, it's a flaws, it's a faz, in my opinion. And I believe the sooner the better that meaningful constitutional reform take place. I recognize that a number of islands seemingly is afraid of their own ability. And when they hear the word of um, full measure of self-government, then they don't want to hear this. Although they are being ill-treated, they are not being treated with the respect and the dignity. I mean, there's a big disparity, you know, in, in terms of equality and fairness. Um, when it has to do with, with the peoples 
of, of, of the Dutch Caribbean versus those in, 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 the, in the European part of the kingdom. And I think that is wrong. I think that equality should be across the board. And if we are equal partners, if we are equal people within the realm of the, of the Dutch kingdom, then I think that there should be no form of discrimination. I, I believe that um, Kurosawa, Rubens, and Martin are talking about their, um, their countries in the kingdom. In my opinion, they are not countries. If you are a country, then what is the CFT? Um, interfering with your budget. The only person who have the right to deal with a budget is the parliament. That, that they, they, the base on the law, the parliament is the one that approve or disapprove. Um, when statements were made in recent time in St. Martin and even in Curacao pertaining to the whole idea of COHO and the whole issue of the CFT, um, the former state secretary basically demanded that members of parliament retract um, the different statement that was being made ultimatums was given to both governments and, as well as parliament and reason time and that is unacceptable if i am equal like you then there's no way then you can give me no form of instruction you understand you can give me no form of ultimatum we are equal and so we are equal we have to be able to respect each other the kingdom consensus law street of four kingdom consensus law that governs the relationship with the islands um, who, has, who say they are countries within the kingdom. They are unlawful, they are unconstitutional. And I believe it's an insult and the people of the island should rise up and demand from their elected officials, from their appointed government to stand up to Holland and to have these abolished. It is unconstitutional. And seemingly nobody wants to talk about it because we are so dependent on the, that financial assistance. We, are, we, we, we seem to be afraid of our own abilities, our own strength, and therefore whatever Holland do with us, then we just accept it. But I am one of those leaders who believe that our people have a right based on international law. And that was my message here today. And as long as I have the strength, as long as I have the mandate of the people to stand up and defend the interests of the people of Stacia, that is what I will continue to do. The people in Stacia voted it in 2005, already in 1994. They voted for the maintaining of the Netherlands and the lease that did not work. Um, we said at the time, even if it meant that Stacia was the only island we would remain, we were forced into this best construct, what we didn't vote for. It was rejected on three separate occasions. I don't believe there's a need for a referendum at this point in time because we were anchored into the Dutch constitution without consulting the people of Stacia. And despite the fact that there was a referendum some months before and the island council took that um, the outcome of that referendum and ratified it and then in a motion we voted against being anchored into the dutch constitution and we still was put in without hearing from us so i believe the process of decolonization there is no need for a referendum